All right. I'm going to have me another beer and talk a little bit. I think I would have a little bit more head on that one. So, I want to talk about the coronavirus. Everybody's talking about it, so I avoided it for the longest. Didn't care to talk about it. Figured it was all mostly a hoax. Um, here's my take. Yeah, we got something very serious going on. Is it the virus? No. I don't believe so. There are so many more viruses, influ influ influenza, whatever it's called, that was way more serious, way more dead rates. Now, the coronavirus does spread pretty fast, but Look, they didn't shut our country down or the whole world down for any of the other viruses. Period. But they are for this. Now, think you hid. There's something going on. They're rolling out the National Guard in a lot of places. Overhyping everything. The media is overhyping everything. Now, what could they be doing? Maybe making way for the Antichrist. Preparing for a war. Now, y'all remember about, what, five years ago? Had all those Walmart closings. You know, it was in, like, Louisiana, Texas, California, I think Arizona, Florida. And they were doing military practices. Well, they were preparing for something. I believe they knew then what's about to happen. It's going to be big. I mean, look, the world and our country will never be the same after this. It ain't hit all y'all yet. It didn't hit me. I didn't think anything was going to happen until it started clicking. <sighs> Things ain't going to be like they used to be. So yeah, you had the Walmart closings, the Kmart closings, they were doing military practices inside the buildings, you had a few people that said that they were insiders, that said that they were building prisons inside of them. <clears throat> now let's go years before that. You all remember all the thousands and thousands of coffin liners? Excuse me. Yeah, they, they're going to be used. I don't think it's for the virus, though. Not enough death. People that's dying, they're mostly the elderly. I mean, their immune systems can't handle the virus. Or any other virus, you know. So... What could happen? If chaos broke out, let's say they had a bunch of false flags, um, you know, let's say they, you know, far-fetched, let's say you had a bunch of groups of people that was paid to get out and cause riots, like, um, what is that called? Antifa? Is that what it was called? Yeah. 
pay a bunch of those people to cause chaos, roll out the military, then if the whole country does shut down, let's say our National Guard caught the virus or something, and then they would bring in the United Nations military. Then you'd have your one world government. And that would also pave the way for the Antichrist because you remember there is no rapture. Antichrist comes first. Six six six. Mark of the beast, the Antichrist. In the head and in the hand. In the head, what's in your head? Your brain. It's not no chip. It's in your head. You accept the Antichrist. That is what the mark of the beast is. 666 comes before 777. Jesus comes on the 7th. But look up on YouTube, people talking about the end times and what's going on. Everybody's saying, rapture's about to happen, the rapture's about to happen. And all these people, they're going to say the Antichrist is going to be almost just like Jesus. they going to worship him. And they're going to accept the mark of the beast. And they're going to be thinking, hey, we're going to get chipped. You ain't getting no daggum chip. Don't believe me? Oh, you'll find out. I ain't a fan of this Budweiser black lager. <sighs> It'll get you a buzz though. 7.1% ABV. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Have I lived right? No. But it ain't too late. It ain't too late for anybody. Change your ways. Understand what's going on. The times we're in. They know something's gonna happen. Maybe it's the pole shift that they're expecting. You got your magnetic pole shift and then the other. A pole shift would wipe out millions of people period but then also though I mean look we're having an economic collapse maybe things will recover I don't think they'll recover the way they did who knows something's gonna happen they're gonna implement something one person said that they had inside information that during the shutdowns that they're putting 5G in everything, like all the schools. We know 5G ain't good. That may or may not be it. What else could go down? I mean, there could be an asteroid. Could be war with China. Could be a war with Russia or both. But the virus itself, no much of a threat. That's my opinion, though. Guarantee not a single one of you have a friend or relative that has died from. The coronavirus. You may have had word from a friend that said, Oh, I know somebody that died. But you do not personally know someone that has died from the coronavirus. Maybe somebody knows somebody that got sick, but I guarantee they did not die. Common sense, your brain. 
I know I fried mine. I ain't got much warm left, but I've got a little bit of common sense in me. The virus is not going to kill a bunch of people. Not, not any more than the regular flu does, influenza, or anything. Something is going on. Something is about to happen. Be prepared. Keep your eyes open. Make sure you watch videos from people like BP Earth Watch. He's one of my favorites. He puts it like it is. And I don't want to bash on anybody. I'm not the type to bash, but I'm not a fan of Paul Begley. You know, maybe he means well, but to me, that's too much fear mongering. Every video saying warning or breaking news. He may mean well, I mean, he preaches Jesus Christ, but that's as much as I want to go on that. So. Yo, just be careful, be prepared, and don't believe everything the media tells you.